Hi, this is IREC. You're welcome to this tutorial. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to model a staircase just like you can see here on an entrance porch. Actually, there are many ways you can do this with the Revit system family. But the problem with the Revit system family staircases is that each time you try using it, maybe on an entrance porch like this, it's usually going to create a cavity under it. You can use that for staircases between ground floor to first floor and so forth and so on. But in a case where the DPC of a building is high, maybe 2 feet, 3 feet or 4 feet as the case may be, it's obvious you need up to 3 risers to land on the DPC actually. So practically speaking, it is not done by foam work. It is actually done using bricks. Therefore, how you can design such staircases is not by picking up the monolithic staircase on Revit or any other type of staircase. Otherwise, it's going to leave a cavity under it. So I'm going to show you how to model that here, making it look like this. And I'm also going to add some nosing to it for you to see how this was built. So, but before we get started, I just like to ask you to go ahead and like this video so more people can see and benefit from it. If it offers value to you, consider subscribing to it because it helps me a lot and it also helps you to stay updated each time I upload videos like this. Now let's get started. I'm going to be using this model to show you how I modeled that staircase. Now the first thing I have to do is to go and make sure I know exactly what the height of the foundation is and how do we do that is to go to any of the elevations. Let's take elevations out. This is between the foundation level and the level one. Okay. Now if I click on any of this okay it didn't show me the all right here i click on the down line okay is 600 millimeters which is like two feet now to create a step from here to this level is going to take about say four risers to get to this level and then we are going to space it at the interval of 150 millimeters now for us to do that um, we are going to go to our ground level to create the stairs now i take sorry the foundation level rather so i click on the foundation level now here is the foundation level now i'm going to build it here but using the traditional stairs as we have it in the revit system families what we will do i'm going to show you that and i show you the difference between that and also show you the other custom one which is the main reason why i created this video now to do that we go to our architectural here is our stair so if you click on stair you're having this monolithic stair all right so the first thing we have to do is to set up the number so here we have the desired number so 150 into how many places would we, we took us up to 600 millimeters height so 150 millimeters times four equals to 600 so we are needing like four stairs all right to land us at the height of the dpc now we just add for there then for the actual thread actual thread refers to the going the horizontal part of the stair which is 300 millimeters like one foot so what we are going to do is to place this here and then we run it so i'm having like three stairs there and then the final one that takes you on top making it four all right so when you select this in order to customize it more you can use these drag points to adjust it okay let's adjust it to this point then adjust this one to this point and then we hit finish so when you hit finish you come here and select this this arrow pointing down you click on it it points it goes upward now let's go to 3d and see what we have done if we go to 3d you see we have that there but my problem with this staircase is that you can see what i mean is going to have a cavity under here but practically speaking it's not supposed to be like this because in real life no one construct this with a foam work they rather do this using your bricks or you can say your blocks 
and in no way is it going to have a cavity like this when you do it practically so I have issues with this that's why I decided to create a custom type for you to learn how you can do that here in Revit and get the best out of it now you can also change this by selecting it and coming to this place when you drop this down you see the industrial and assembly you can choose this or as you can see so each of them you select is also going to have that cavity under it you can also decide to change it to another type maybe this one that says private as you can see there is still a cavity under it you can also decide to pick another type okay like this is a precast stair okay you click on it as you can see it's nice so oh, but i don't like this all right now i'm just going to delete this and show you how i was able to form what i showed you initially now i select this and say delete now to create the normal staircase i'm talking of suitable for in transport we're going to go back to our foundation and so click the foundation we're going to use our floor to do that now we'll select the floor architecture so you pick that when you select that let's go to edit type and duplicate it say duplicate we'll give it a name let's call it stair one okay and then the thickness let's leave it at 150 millimeters okay we are going to be needing like three different risers 150 times three gives us 450 then the last one lands here on top of the dpc so we are going to leave it at 150 millimeters and we say okay you can also decide to set the material here okay but here we have it as clad white or maybe you can leave it or let's change it immediately to concrete material and for changing of material i have a video which i'm going to leave the link of that video below the description box of this video so you can refer to that video later for more about changing of material now let's go for concrete masonry okay and say okay okay we pick our rectangle place it here and we go and say okay but we have to be intentional about the extent of this rectangle okay for us to be needing three steps before the final one with 300 millimeters um thread okay 300 times 3 will give us 900 i don't know if you understand what i mean in that case we are going to select this sorry we select here and here we turn it to 900 millimeters Why selecting this external one and we say okay now we have it as 900 all right then we hit finish once we hit finish we are going to set up this height offset all we need there is to leave it at that 150 millimeters all right and apply it shows up okay so when we go to our 3d to look at it this is what we have done now we go and create the second step go back to our foundation and then we pick another floor all right here we duplicate the second one again the one two all right so we say okay at the same thickness of 150 millimeters you say okay and then we pick our rectangle and draw just like that the second one is going to be 600 interval 600 here all right and then we click we can decide to lock it in place as well we can decide to lock it in place okay and then you escape then we come here the first one we use 150 so in this case it's just gonna be 300 let's go to 3d so we can see what we're doing 
and then if we hit finish you see it appear there all right so we go and set up the third one we go back to our foundation level then we'll cancel this out we pick our floor once again for the third one we edit type duplicate it it turns three okay the thickness is the same 150 we say okay again and then we pick our rectangle place it here and leave it at 300 okay once you click that you can lock everything in place all right now once you do that we move to our 3d so we can see what we are doing and adjust this place to 450 actually this is the height offset from the ground otherwise it's gonna be a mess if you don't do this now we hit finish once we hit finish you see we have it there so the last one we just take us to the final landing all right so um we have gotten that all right now just before we go ahead and put rails on this we are also going to put nosing around it and to put nosing you also require to do some calculations now let's go back to our foundation level and create some nosing on it here um to create a nosing we also go back to our floor we we'll select floor architecture and let's also duplicate it once again and you duplicate it gives you step four all right now the nosing let's make it 50 millimeters thickness all right and then we can change the material as well um for the main distance we use this then for the material we can go for this okay let's check the appearance In, okay this is the appearance it has come all right so the appearance is looking okay we can say okay and okay and okay if we pick our rectangle and the first one is from this point and then we take it to this point um let's forget about locking in place for now because we have to do some editing and then we pick our offset here and try to offset 50 out of it so you click on this click on this and click on that okay and just forget about this last one here so all you need to do is to drag this to this end and drag this to this end uh, maybe um for this we might use okay fillet arc and then for the fillet we change the radius to maybe 600 radius and then we click this and click that no 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 600 is too much or say 150 let's go with 150 we we'll click this and click that okay click this and click that all right then we can delete this from inside then you also need to be careful about this height offset remember for the real step it was 150 millimeters high but for this nosing let's use 200 for it to land above the 150 millimeters so we are going to enter 200 here you have to be careful about these calculations and you say apply and if we go to 3d and finish this you are going to see that on top of that now since we have gotten one you now have two options either to go and create others or you find a way to copy this and paste it on top of these ones but let's try copying and see what we can get if i select this okay you have to try positioning it in a way that it will be easy for you to copy all right now if i copy this from this point um from this point can i really see clearly um because i have this element in front of me so what i have to do is to maybe hide this element so i can see clearly if i try to hide this element okay maybe i can just try hiding this element by 
hide elements now that i have hidden the element i can now go and copy this all right place it at right angle and then i pick copy if i take it from this point and i place it here and pick it again and it, it's deselected because it wasn't under multiple then i place it here sorry then i pick here again or let's say here and then i place it here so i have this and then you can look at it very well so this is looking nice so the next thing i want to show you now is how to put rail on this now how can we do that uh, you look at the stair is actually looking nice but if you're not okay with these lines here too you can do something about it i mean these lines if you're not okay with them you can do something about it and what do you do you can go back to your modify pick this your line style and then drop this down you look for invisible line pick it and then you double click on this double click on this it goes off you come back to this point all right okay it goes off on, on both ways too so that's how to deal with that you can also merge these lines the vertical one by clicking it off now let's go ahead and put a rail on it now how to put a rail on this is that we have to go back to our foundation all right and then here on this foundation we pick go to architectural tab here in architectural part this is railing so we click on it and say sketch part and then right here you can sketch a rail straight like that down to this point and you hit finish if you look at it on the 3d you see you have a rail down there all right and what type of rail it is we can turn it into a glass rail if you want this is glass panel rail okay actually this rail we started it from the foundation but here all we have to do is to raise it up now look at the base point here the base level is foundation we raise it up to level one um that's better now then for the other rail that comes down this way and runs this other way and um, what we have to do is to go back to our foundation level all right so you can see the sign of this rail here so to create the other side ones the one running this way and this way we don't really need to pick a rail instead we pick stairs all right and then we need like how many we need like four four risers so we go from this point or we start from this point down to this point all right and then we select it and use the drag points like we did before to that point okay and then we hit finish once you hit finish you select it and turn this arrow upward and then if we go to 3d you see the rail down there and then we can turn the rail into glass to conform with the first one okay also turn this to glass in order to conform with the first one as well and then we are going to have issues here with the you remember the stairs we picked so we're just going to select it the stairs that comes with it because the rail is actually embedded in a stair so we look for a way to select the stair okay here is the stair that comes with it and then we hide it by right clicking and go to hide in view elements so it's no longer there we look for this we look for it on this other side no 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 so we've hidden all then all we now have to do is to adjust this side of the rail to align with this now let's go back to our foundation here is it okay we have to move use move to do that so we place this here 
or you use your right arrow to adjust it and why this one remains where it is we'll go back to 3d and check so you have this now if i try changing the visual style let's turn it into realistic so you're going to see what we have done there all right and if you also do not like how this is placed you can do the adjustment as well just like we adjusted this this is really looking nice all right we can use the arrow button to shift it a bit all right i think this is fine so this is how to create the custom stairs all right with nosing for in transport now you watch we have three risers here four risers rather to take you down to this um, top of the dpc and then this is how to get this done um,